there's always more than one way to interpret an image. In my photography, I refer to the end result of what I make as an image and not as a photograph. Photography is part of the process, or one of the steps in the process, that I use to create an image. This is why I refer to the end product as an image and not a photograph. What I have here is an image that I've taken down at the gut in South Bristol, Maine from a kayak. And there are many different ways of interpreting this image, but I'm going to show you four different interpretations that I use and give a little bit of a definition of how I would describe that interpretation. This is the original image. This is straight out of the camera. Nothing done to it. Then what I'm going to create is what I call an enhanced image. Now I have used several pieces of software to bring up the color, punch up the contrast, actually obscure some of the grain in the image, and trying to create an image that is more visually interesting than the original. My goal is to create images that have impact and, in and engage the viewer. So this is one interpretation. It's still photographic in appearance. The next step is I want to take it to the painterly side of the equation. So in this one, I have made it so it looks nothing like a photograph and resembles only a painting. And this is a painterly interpretation of the original image. And again, the whole purpose is not to create an image that looks like a painting. The purpose is to create an image that is more intriguing and engaging than the original image. And that's the purpose. Now the final one is my favorite interpretation and the one that I have the most experience with is monochrome. Now Monochrome images are very interesting because when you remove color from the equation, the compositional and tonal aspects of the image have to carry it. So you need an image that has much stronger composition to have a monochrome image work than a color image. So one of the reasons why I always make a monochrome image, it's much easier to evaluate how successful my compositional strategy was for the image. I hope people find this helpful to understand how I interpret photographs. Thank you for watching. Dave Higgins.